Hey guys, Adam Hart here. Every golden seed, you only need 30 to max out your flasks. You can get a maximum of 14 flasks. You can get one golden seed when you begin the game by selecting golden seed as your keepsake. I'm going to show the side of grace to go to for all these seeds. Gate front, this is where you talk to Milena and she gives you Torrent, your horse, and this is where you go to progress the story at the start of the game. Go up the stone path where this giant wants to play some pitch and catch with you, and maybe kill you in the process. You'll see it on your right, and here we are on the map. Stormhill Shack, there's going to be a woman here called Rodrika. When you come back later in the game, she'll be gone and she'll leave a golden seed. Fort Height West. Turn right and go up the hill. Go past the barricades and there it is. Mistwood Outskirts. Go northeast. There's going to be an NPC on these ruins. Kill him and you'll get the golden seed. If you don't kill him, you get a quest. And I think the reward is a dagger, but whatever it was, it wasn't worth it. Whenever you have the opportunity to kill an NPC, I take it. Alright, so now we're in jail for that. Secluded cell. Turn left. Go down the steps to the wall. Left side chamber. Go through the door and turn right. Drop down on these ledges. Go straight past these statues and the Ratatouille rats. Just stay on the right side. Go through this gap. Turn left. Right. Just follow where the path leads to. And you'll come to a boss fight. Along with the seed, you'll get a stone sword key. Castle Morn Rampart. Which is also where a merchant is. Follow the cliffside to the tree. Academy Gate Town. Go northwest, over this roof, then head west between these buildings. And here we are on the map. Debate Parlor. This is where you fight a boss. Head north through these doors, turn left, head across the courtyard. Watch out for the enemies here. Around the corner is a tree. I just turned back so you guys can see where I'm at. Definitely one of the coolest places for me because of the Hogwarts vibes. Main Academy Gate. Just go across the bridge. Ravine Veiled Village. This is at the end of the Seathwater River. Go west, the golden seed is next to a bunch of poisonous plants. Manor upper level. You can see the tree from here. Southern Aeonia Swamp Bank. Go south down the mountain. Just watch out for the psycho birds that want to give you the Kaelid experience. Celia under stair. Let's keep this going so we can get the fudge out of Kaelid. Run up the stairs into the town of sorcery. Keep going straight until you hit a wall. Turn left, you'll get to some stairs and the seed is at the top. Forum Great Bridge. Go northwest up the hill. Here we are on the map. Star Scourge Radon. You unlock this side of grace after beating Radon. Go north towards the mountain. There'll be a door to the War Dead Catacombs. It helps to have the Bloodhound step if you don't have that already. You can get that by killing the Night Cavalry during nighttime at Lenny's Rise in Kaelid. Follow the steps. We can ignore these guys and turn right. Up the steps, turn left. Turn right, go straight to the end. Turn right, there's going to be a window you can jump through on the right side. 
Turn left up the steps. Go through this opening. Turn left and pull the lever, which opens the door to a boss fight. Jump down and go straight, which is where we ignore those guys earlier. Good luck with the boss. Along with the seed, we get the Red Main Knight Oka. Urtree Gazen Hill. The Golden Seed Tree is close by. Atlas Highway Junction. Head north and you'll see the Golden Seed next to some rocks near a stone path. Forest Spanning Great Bridge. Go north down the bridge. Once you get off, go slightly to the east and you'll find the Golden Seed in a slight clearing. Here we are on the map. From the outer wall battleground side of Grace, go down and the tree will be in a circle area, which is where Finger Reader is. You'll find two seeds here. You'll notice there are steps on our left that go up and stairs directly ahead of us that go down the mountain. If you follow those downward steps, you'll come to the outer wall phantom tree side of Grace, which also holds two golden seeds. From there, Go south until you reach a camp. A giant monster spawns, which probably made someone crap himself who came across this naturally, and that'll give you a golden seed. The giant monster, not the person's crap. Here we are on the map. Windmill Village. Run southeast up the hill. The seed will be on the right side. Watch out for the catapults. Avenue Balcony. Go down the steps. Then between these buildings, turn right. Jump off the balcony. Kill the beast, get the golden seed. This side of Grace and the next side of Grace I'm going to show you, the West Capital Rampart, will both be gone if you beat the game. So you're going to have to travel to a nearby side of Grace and run here. West Capital Rampart. Head south out the door. The golden seed is on the left side, past a giant and some marshmallows. Seathwater River. Follow the river and the golden seed will be on the left side. Here we are on the map. Ninth Mount Gilmere Campsite. Go up the Spirit Spring. There's a boss on this volcano. Turn right and go along the Petrudin Ledge. Head northwest down the mountain. Here we are on the map. Forbidden Lands. Head northeast. Be really careful as there's lots of places to fall off and visibility is low. Eventually the path will narrow and then it opens up again. Go to the right a little bit. And there we go. Here we are on the map. Ancient Snow Valley Ruins. Turn left. Hug the right cliff side the whole time until there's an opening and you'll get to the Golden Seed. You'll see these transparent trees. Just stay to the right. Watch out for the big giant. Here we are on the map. Inner Consecrated Snowfield. Go northwest. You'll see a big rock in the distance. As soon as you pass it on the right, turn left and stay close to the next big rock you see. And then you'll see the golden seed in the distance. Here we are on the map. Inner Consecrated Snowfield. We're back at the same side of Grace, but this time go southeast. Head up the mountain, then go south and to get to these trees. Turn left, then turn right when you can to continue heading up the mountain. Once you get to a wall again, turn left, 
I go right for a moment, but head left. You'll find the golden seed against the tree. Here we are on the map. Foot of the Forge. Go northeast up the hill. Here we are on the map. Drainage Channel. Go toward the opening on the west. Go up here and up the ladder. Turn right. Up this slope. Watch out for the creature at the top. Turn left. Go along this tree branch. You'll fight a monster, which you need to do for Melissa's questline, and I'll post that to my channel. Once you kill the monster, you get a golden seed. Noxtella Eternal City. For this, you're going to go up the steps the whole way, and eventually in the last room you get to, you'll turn left and come to a lift that brings you to the golden seed. At the top, there's also the Moon of Noxtella that allows you to equip two extra spells. Bloodhound Step is especially useful for this place, so again, to get that, kill the Knight Cavalry during nighttime at Lenny's Rise in Kaelid. So here we are approaching that last room, watch out for the two tiers, head left through this opening, and go down the rocks to get to a lift. And here it is. Grand Cloister. Down the steps, descend the wall using the ledges, turn towards the east, you guys may want to equip Fire Cleanse Me or Preserve and Boluses because we need to step into the blood to get the monster to come out, which gives us a Golden Seed, or you could just die to go back to the Set of Grace. Dragon Temple Rooftop. Go down the rooftops and turn right, a big dragon will be here and it'll shoot red lightning so watch out for that. Unless you're into that kind of stuff. Turn left. Follow the path. Turn left. Use this roof to get up. And there we go. Dragon Temple Altar. Head north through this passage. And then we're going to drop down. So go to the right. Down these stairs. This man's been waiting his whole life for this moment. But we're going to run past him. Down these steps, through the door, jump onto the pillar, take a right, go straight, and at the end, turn right up the steps. Once you get to the top, go straight to the end, and turn left. We'll open this with a stone sword key, and I see this guy coming toward me, and I just think it's hilarious that he missed me and I didn't even move. Take the lift up, you'll come to a side of grace, then just follow the path, and you'll see the golden seed in front of you. Dynasty Mausoleum Midpoint. Run up the steps. We're going to go behind all these enemies. So just go around here. There's a golden seed below us to our right. Palace Approach Ledge Road. This is where people do the famous rune farm on the bird and the enemies to our right. Turn right, go down the slope, and hug the cliff to your left. And soon you'll find the golden seed in front of you. And there it is, up on those rocks. Stranded Graveyard. So even though this is in the starting area of the game, I didn't show it until now because there's easier ways to get golden seeds as you guys have seen in the video. But here's how to do this one. So after you guys use your stone sword key, drop down, turn right, and we're going to descend these slopes which have spike machines rolling up and down them, and you take cover between the pillars. Now go along the left side and you'll find a place to drop down, then drop down a second time. Turn left, head down, then turn right. Kill the boss, get the seed. See off a river, well depths. Go straight across where you see the arch structure. So go up the hill, turn left up the steps, turn right up these steps, go up the lift. Up the hill. Take a left, and you'll see a side of grace on the left side. Run past it, and we're going to go to the right of that torch against the wall. Keep heading northeast.
Once you go through these trees, turn left and go up the hill. You'll notice these blue guys on the mountain. That's where we're going to go. Turn right. Up the hill. You'll see the golden seed on the edge. Here we are on the map. Zaymor Ruins. This is definitely the hardest golden seed to get. Go down the stairs and take a right. I accidentally went to the end of the hall, which also has a goblin there. So there I am at the end of the hall, and there's the right you're going to take. Go down the steps and go straight to the end of the hall. Turn left. Activate the lift with the lever. Now these guys are actually maniacs and will fall into your platform even if it's a 15 foot drop. I absolutely love it though because the enemies in this game are always surprising me, but just watch out for that. I've already done this place so the doors to the boss is open already, and yep, you guessed it, that's how we're going to get the golden seed. But for you, the doors will be closed, so we're going to take a left. Head down the stairs and go straight until you have to pull another lever. Just remember you're not safe when you're on these lifts because of these god dang psycho goblins. Go straight until you get to a statue, turn right. Run along the edges here, otherwise you'll spring a crossbow trap. Turn left, which leads into the blade room. Turn left and go past all these plants. Go up the stairs. You'll see a big pot at the end. If you don't, because it might be hiding around the corner, just make sure you take a left and go through this opening. Also make sure to fall on the ledges to prevent fall damage. Good job so far. Jump down and turn right. At the end of this corridor, step on the lift, but don't take the lift. It rises, revealing a platform with a pot below. Drop down and then turn around. And the lever is on the other side of the room. Now you just open the boss door. We're going to go back to the beginning now, so face the direction you came from and drop down. Go all the way down the hall to the left. Go straight up the steps and turn left. Along with the golden seed, you'll get a Glovewort Picker's Bell Baron too. If you guys find any more golden seeds, comment them below for others. I also have a special announcement to make guys. We have memberships on the channel now, which is like subs on Twitch, except it's on YouTube. If you guys would like to see what you get with that, you can just click on the join button on the homepage and it'll bring up all the details. And if any of you do become members, thank you so much. I'm also back to doing my main content on this channel. So now I'm going to do all my tips, tutorials, and streams once again on Adam Heart Gaming. I have more Elden Ring tutorials on the way, so like and subscribe for more, and thanks for watching. That happened to me before, Two though. Moments. At the other door. They're at the other door as well. Oh my gosh, rest! Rest! No, rest, no, no, they're rest. <laughs> <laughs> This game gives me anxiety oh, sometimes, man. Uh, funny.